हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अक्षिता यू एजुकेटर आई वेलकम यू ऑल द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ स्पर्धा परीक्षा बाय ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज वी नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज लॉन्च्ड अ कंप्लीट सीरीज फॉर अपकमिंग सी टेट एग्जामिनेशन विच विल बी हेल्ड इन डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी आर डीलिंग विथ मैथमेटिक्स पेपर टू इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी पेपर वन फॉर दैट ऑल्सो मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन सीरीज हैज ऑलरेडी बीन लॉन्च्ड ऑन दी platform so basically you just have to go in the playlist and check all the videos and boost your preparation with the video moving into today's lecture number 9 we'll discuss the mensurations remaining questions okay before moving into the video friends i would like to tell you that the central teacher eligibility test which will be held in december 2022 for that complete course has been launched for paper 1 paper 2 and compiled paper 1 and paper 2 course now what are the features of this course let us discuss that in detail it consists of full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple MC secures mock test and full syllabus notes in the form of pdf will be provided now these four features these golden features are provided in the course fees of just 2000 rupees for enrolling the course you have to go and download the global online app or contact us on this given whatsapp number okay similarly for complete course for paper 2 again seated paper 2 for that full syllabus theory lectures will be provided to you practice multiple mcqs mock test will be provided full syllabus notes in the form of pdf and the course fees is again just of 2000 rupees go and download the global online app or contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course okay now this two courses have been designed for you to completely relay on our videos you can completely relay on our notes you don't have to refer different kinds of sources and notes for your preparation at the same time if you want to score maximum marks in the examination and want guaranteed selection in the examination then this course for paper 1 and paper 2 will be very much beneficial for you at the same time the students who are going to opt for seated paper 1 and paper 2 both for them also compiled course has been launched with the following features of full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes again in the form of pdf and the course fees will be just of 3000 rupees you just have to go and download the global online app or contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course once again i'd like to tell you that how to download the app and how to get enrolled in these three basic steps S- simply you have to go on the play store download this global online app nextly you will find such interface opening the app here in this interface one more icon is there called store you have to click on the store icon and moving to the pages called courses here you will find a search tab in this search tab you have to type seated after typing seated you will find three different courses on seated that is for paper 2 paper 1 and compiled for paper 1 and paper 2 whichever the course is required for you go and enroll it because this is a golden opportunity here you can completely relay on our so- sources and course and here you can get guaranteed selection in the examination and get maximum score with our videos so this is best platform for you uh, for your preparation for the seated this will boost your confidence okay so in today's lecture we will discuss the left out questions of the mensuration regarding the trapezium also we will move to the 3d structures okay so now look at the question over here abcd is a trapezium they have said here that ad and bc are the parallel sides okay let us draw the trapezium let us draw the trapezium in this trapezium in this trapezium ab C D okay A B C D is a trapezium in this A D side and B C side are parallel to each other this is the thing that we know here the given next thing is angle B minus A is equals to forty degree one fact second thing is given that angle C minus angle D is equals to twenty degree we have to find the value of angle B plus angle C now the first very first equation we get that angle b minus angle a is equals to 40 degree let us consider as the first angle c minus angle d is equals to 20 degree let us consider as the second equation okay second thing given now what i can find from this is angle b minus angle a is 40 angle c minus angle d is equals to 20 degree so basically angle b Minus angle A plus angle C minus angle D is equals to forty degree plus twenty degree. I have done nothing but I have just added these two angles. That is angle B minus angle A 
प्लस ऑफ एंगल सी माइनस एंगल डी इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी डिग्री दैट इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सो वॉट आई कैन टेक दिस वॉट हाउ आई कैन राइट दिस दैट इज एंगल बी प्लस एंगल सी इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी डिग्री प्लस ऑफ एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी वॉट आई हैव डन इज नथिंग बट आई हैव taken this minus angle c and minus angle d to this side when i'll take to this side this minus gets plus so this is the thing that we have taken here the second thing now look at the look at this sorry okay i'll take black pen only it is quite better okay blue okay fine so here angle a plus angle d is equals to angle b प्लस एंगल सी माइनस सिक्सटी डिग्री राइट लेट दिस बी द थर्ड इक्वेशन ओके एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी किया ओके okay? और ये सिक्सटी को कुछ भी नहीं किया इस साइड लेके आया सो बेसिकली दिस विल बी माइनस सिक्सटी राइट दिस इज द थर्ड इक्वेशन नो एज वी नो वॉट वी नो दैट द इंटीरियर एंगल सम ऑफ द इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑफ द ट्रपेजियम इज इक्वल्स टू वन एटी डिग्री लेट दिस बी एंगल ए दिस बी एंगल सी एंगल these are all the interior angles right so angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equals to 360 degree this we know this fact okay that sum of the interior angles is equals to 360 degree now the from equation from the above equation i can write this as angle b plus angle c plus angle b plus angle c माइनस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री राइट आई कैन राइट दिस हाउ आई हैव टेकन दिस आई हैव टेकन दिस फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री वॉट एज वी नो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री दैट इज एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी इज इक्वल्स टू एंगल बी प्लस एंगल सी माइनस सिक्सटी डिग्री सो आई हैव पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी ओके एंड आई हैव रिटर्न एंगल ए प्लस एंगल सी This one, okay? I have taken this side. And angle A or angle D के बदले में मैंने क्या लिखा है Angle B plus angle C minus 60 degree from equation number थ्री This is equals to 60 degree. Nothing but I have placed the value from equation number थ्री Now, what I can write over here is, look at the next steps. Twice of, twice of angle B plus angle C is equals to 360 degree. Okay? Look at this. Angle B plus angle C is one, and angle B plus angle C is one. So I can write twice of angle B plus angle C, right? This is equals to sixty degree plus of sixty degree. How I have done this? I have taken this minus sixty degree to this side. This will become plus sixty degree, right? So angle B plus of angle C is equals to four twenty degree. Okay. So I can write angle. Sorry. So I can write angle B. Plus angle C is equals to 420 degree divided by 2. This is equals to 210 degree. Okay, this is equals to 210 degree. So angle B plus of angle C is equals to 210 degree. So we have find the value of summation of these two angles. Okay, angle B plus angle C. What was given? The trapezium was given where in which AB, AD, and BC are parallel sides. Okay, angle B minus angle A was given that is equals to forty degree. Angle C minus angle D was given that is equals to twenty degree. So what I have done is minus angle, sorry, angle B minus angle A plus angle C minus angle D is equals to forty plus twenty. I have taken and I have taken the value of angle B plus angle C. Okay, and I have find out the value of angle A plus angle D. That is angle B plus angle C minus sixty degree, and I have placed it in this equation. This equation, okay. That is sum of the interiors angle is equals to three sixty degree. After putting the value, I can find directly the value of angle B plus angle C. This was one important question. Now moving to the next question, okay. Now the next question in a trapezium PQRS. PQRS is a trapezium given over here. Okay, let us draw it. This is a trapezium. In this trapezium, what we can find is this PQ RS is a trapezium. PQ is parallel to RS. For example, this is sorry. This is P, Q, R, and S. 
ओके इन दिस पी क्यू इज पैरल टू आर एस और एस आर ओके एंगल पी एंड एंगल एस पी क्यू आर एस ओके पी क्यू लेट एस टेक दिस एस आर एंड एस आर एंड एस ओके पी क्यू आर एस ओके इन दिस ट्रपेजियम वॉट वी कैन फाइंड इज एंगल पी इज टू एंगल एस इज गिवन थ्री इज टू टू एंड एंगल क्यू इज टू एंगल आर इज गिवन फोर इज टू फाइव नाउ दिस इज द ट्रपेजियम हियर वॉट इज गिवन एंगल्स आर गिवन इन द रेशो लेट एस कंसिडर थ्री एक्स इज एन एंगल एंड टू एक्स इज द अदर एंगल ओके दीज आर द एंगल पी एंड एंगल क्यू लेट द थ्री एक्स बी द एंगल पी एंड लेट क्यू सॉरी एंगल एस इज इक्वल्स टू टू एक्स ओके सो हियर वॉट इज द मेजर ऑफ एंगल पी एंड एस थ्री एक्स एंड टू एक्स ओके नाउ लेट एस कंसिडर फोर एक्स इज द अदर एंगल एंड फाइव एक्स बी द अदर एंगल दैट इज एंगल क्यू एंड एंगल आर ओके नो एज वी नो दैट द सम ऑफ द एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स एट द कॉर्नर्स सम ऑफ द एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स आर एस सम ऑफ द एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स एट द कॉर्नर्स ऑफ नॉन पैरल साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्रपेजियम इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सो हाउ वॉट आई कैन राइट वॉट आर दडजस्टेंट एंगल्स ओवर हियर एंगल पी एंड एंगल एस इज द अपोजिट सॉरी adjacent angle angle p and angle s is the adjacent angle here over here that is angle p plus angle s is equals to 180 degree i can write this okay so angle p is what we have taken this as 3x i'll write this this is angle p this is angle s this is angle q and this is angle r okay okay so now what is angle p over here You can write three x. What is angle S? Angle S is two x is equals to one eighty degree. Now these are the adjacent angles. How I have taken this? I have taken this as we know that in previous lectures we have discussed the sum of the adjacent angles at the corner of non-parallel sides of trapezium is equals to three sixty degree, right? So angle P plus angle S is equals to one eighty degree. I can write this. Sorry, sum of the adjacent angles at corner of non parallel sides of a trapezium is equals to 180 degree not 360 degree so what i can write here is 3x plus 2x is equals to 5x is equals to 180 degree right so x is equals to x is equals to 180 degree divided by 5 okay this is 5 threes are 15 3 left okay and 5 6 are So thirty six degree. So x is equals to thirty six degree. So what will be three x now? X is equals to x is equals to thirty six degree. Now how I can write three x? Three x is equals to three into thirty six. That is equals to one zero eight. Okay. Nextly, five x is equals to five x. Who can write it? Five into thirty six, right? Five x is sorry. I'm so sorry. Not five x, two x. Okay, three x is equals to three into thirty six. As we have find the value of x. Now two x is equals to what? Two into thirty six. This is equals to seventy two degree, right? Similarly, similarly we can find for four x plus five x. Four x and five x are what? Angle Q and angle R. That is angle Q and angle R. Now these are the adjacent angles at the side of non parallel side of the trapezium, right? This is equals to one eighty degree. So I can write. This is four x, and this is five x. So I can write four x plus five x is equals to one eighty degree. Once again, the same procedure. So nine x is equals to one eighty degree. Nine x is equals to one eighty degree. So x is equals to one eighty degree divided by nine. That is equals to twenty degree. Right. So I can write four x. As x is equals to twenty degree, I can write four x is equals to four into twenty degree. That is equals to eighty degree. And for five x, I can write it as five into twenty degree. That is equals to hundred degree. Okay. Now, so these are all the angles that we have find over here. That is three x mane. This is P. Two x mane. This is Q angle. Okay. This is R and S. So angle P is equals to one zero eight. Angle Q is equals to seventy-two degree. Okay. Angle 
R is equals to 80 degree and angle S is equals to 100 degree. So this is all the angles of the trapezium. Okay, these are all the angles of the trapezium. So these are some of the questions that uh, these are some of the type of questions from yesterday's and today's lecture that can be asked in the examination. So you must be prepared for that. At the same time, I would like to give you some of the sample questions that can be uh, like uh, come in the examination as well as uh, you must try to solve them, right? So you will practice bhi ho jayega. Now these are the two questions that I will give you in today's work. Okay, try to solve these questions and uh, try to understand that what these, these questions are like very simple. Now these category ke questions already we have solved. Okay, so try to solve this one as the sample question. That is question number one and two. Once again, I'll uh, try uh, try to explain you here. We have to find the area of the trapezium in first question when the parallel sides are given. Two parallel sides are given. Thirty unit. Uh, and 13 unit okay and the other side is given 15 unit each we have to find the area so we know the formula of the area as well as here we uh, the bases are given take the average of the bases and multiply it in the uh, height and calculate the area of the trapezium next the area of trapezium is given over here okay and distance between the parallel sides is given that is height is given if one of the parallel side is 38 centimeter we have to find the other so basically the same formula that is height into a plus b divided by 2 height is given okay and one side is given that is a is given we have to find the b so area is also given so we can simply calculate and find out the value of the b over there so this was the question that we have to keep in mind now uh, this was actually uh, different kinds of question that we have discussed about the trapezium now let us move into the uh, topic called as prism prism kya hai 3d structures okay so mensuration 3d mensuration 3d okay now what are the questions very first thing mensuration 3d samajhne se pehle in detail i would like to tell you prism okay prism now, what is prism i'll give you two formulas to you over here volume is equals to base area base area into height this is the basic formula for any prism okay and surface area is equals to base perimeter base perimeter into height now these are the two formula that we have to apply for every prism now basically what is prism whenever for example we are considering one structure here i am taking one structure this is the one okay this structure has been constantly remained the same this structure has constantly remained the same from from the base till upwards okay what i'm telling listen carefully okay prism it means that the basic structure this basic structure has remained the same till upwards okay till upwards now this is the basic structure now this basic structure has remained the same till particular height h or we can say it has remained the same from particular base okay and it's continuously remaining the same it is maintaining its shape till upwards that structure is called as prism okay we have to keep in mind